So congratulations on your brand new 22 inch dual burner griddle from Blackstone and HSN. So listen, you heard in our live demonstration me say a hundred times it's everything your grill can do and a thousand things it can't. So I just want to take a quick second and share with you how to make one of the best steaks you're ever going to have on your new Blackstone. And so many people say, you know, you can't do a thick steak, you can't do a thick steak. I'm going to tell you what, some of the best steak houses in the country are using this. And you can see how well seasoned this is. I've been using this guy for about a year, man. My family's signature's right in there. I love it. So here we go. First things first, uh, vegetarians and vegans, turn away. You're not going to like this. Guys, look at this. When we talk about a thick steak, we talk about a thick steak. We're not kidding. And we're going to do this really, really simply. Salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic. That's all we're looking for. And we want to get all the sides here. A little bit like that. Garlic. Just like that. So what this is going to do is this is going to give it the craziest crust you've ever had. I'm going to go ahead, give this a little bit of oil. There we go. And here it comes. Strike up the band. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's get the top spice. Now, you're going to hear people, uh, you know, purists and steak guys and grill guys and all this. They're going to tell you, only flip a steak once. Why? <laughs> I've never understood that my whole life. Flip a steak until you need to stop flipping a steak. How about that? That works. <laughs> a little bit of salt right on top, just like that, and a little bit of garlic. So listen, that's it. So now, with a little bit of tenderness and a little bit of love for that ribeye, you are just gonna kinda hang out here and every now and then, give it a flip. And you're just gonna keep going and going and going. And when you're done, when the inside of that steak hits about 135, 140 degrees, that is gonna be one of the best steaks you've ever bit into. So here, let's start flipping. I'm going to give it one more turn, but have a look at this. Perfect. On the other side, but I don't want the onions to be as hot as the steak. That's the control. And that is a pretty steak, let me tell you. So here's the rules. You are not allowed to cut into that steak or any steak for at least 10 minutes. All those juices got to find their way back home, man. So we're going to put those onions on there. Give it a little bit of a, of a hood. I love it. All right, we'll see you in 10 minutes for the best steak you've ever seen on a flat top. All right, so here it is. We've been resting. It's been 10 minutes. Longer is better, but that's fine. Here we go, guys. Anybody that tells you you can't make one of the best steaks you've ever seen on a flat top, baby, they're lying. Look at that. Let me do that again. This is one of my favorite things in the world to do right there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Let's get right where like the blade is like, yeah. See, Mark, how we're close. Let's give it. This is like the payoff. This is like we're all looking to get it. <laughs> 